Hi, I'm Terry Christensen, and I'm a Norwegian-American. My mom was 100% Norwegian. My dad was 100% Norwegian. So I guess that makes me 200% Norwegian. I've always been pretty good at math. My wife, Chris, got a call the other day from her friend Kathy. And Kathy starts telling her about this TV reality show that's looking for Norwegian-Americans. And Chris starts to tell me about this, and I'm thinking, yeah, sure. Kathy's always been kidding me about being Norwegian, making fun of the way I talk, or telling Oli and Lena jokes. You know, that's okay because a lot of my friends do the same thing, and frankly, I think they're just jealous. So I'm thinking, she's just joking around. But I get to thinking, what the heck, let's check it out. So we check out the website, and we think, wow, this is great. I'm currently retired. Going to Norway has always been a dream of mine. So this makes me the perfect candidate for the great Norway adventure. Now, I grew up in a small town in southeast Minnesota called Blooming Prairie. And as far as I could see in every direction were my cousins. The original settlers in that area were my ancestors. In 1844, my great-great-grandfather, Christian Olsen Rucky, along with his family, got on a ship in Bergen, Norway, and they sailed for America. After 16 weeks at sea, they landed in New York Harbor. They got in another boat, they sailed up the Hudson River, through the Erie Canal, across the Great Lakes, and they landed in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. In 1855, they moved over to the Minnesota Territory, and they settled near Blooming Prairie. Ninety-five years later, I was born. Now, the community I grew up was a real strong Norwegian community, and we learned how to eat lutefisk and lefse at a pretty young age. And I never realized how unique that place was until when I was 19 years old, Uncle Sam decided he wanted me in the Army. So within the year, I was in Vietnam. But when I was in basic training, I met guys from a lot of different states. But I met this one guy from Georgia, and I asked him, I'm Norwegian American, what are you? And he said, what are you talking about? And I said, well, my ancestors came to America from Norway, so that makes me Norwegian. And he said, I have no idea where my ancestors came from. I've never even considered it. And I got to thinking, you know, I'm pretty unique to have grown up where I did and have the understanding I do of my heritage. Now, after the military, I went back to school. I got my bachelor's degree in business and accounting from the University of Minnesota. And I got a master's degree in business from the University of Iowa. After college, I started my working career and I started raising a family. I've got a beautiful wife. I got two beautiful daughters. My oldest daughter and her husband, they're expecting a baby in April. So my wife and I give them a t-shirt and it says, Made in America with Norwegian parts. We're pretty excited about our new grandchild. My wife also has two children and four grandchildren. I love to go boating. I love to play golf. I love to go fishing. I'm pretty handy with carpentry, so there's oftentimes I find myself helping the family and friends with their home repair and remodeling jobs. I also love to do woodworking and I like to read books about history and current affairs. And I take every opportunity I can to kid around with my family and friends. I guess you could say I like the lighter side of life. Now after 31 years working as a financial manager and a controller for a large corporation, I'm now retired, which makes it the perfect opportunity for me to participate in the Great Norway Adventure. Now after you see this video, I'm sure you're going to be convinced that I am the one you're looking for. And I'm anxiously awaiting your overwhelming response to my application. I thank you very much for this opportunity of a lifetime. Tis and tuck. Well, I gotta shovel some snow now, so I guess we'll see you later. Man, I wish we get some global warming. If we had some global warming, if we had some global warming, it wouldn't be 20 below, it wouldn't be 20 below, if we had some global warming.